Hey guys, Stefan Milo Bathula here, creator of Foca. Today I'd like to get you up and running with Foca and teach you how it's installed and show you an example of using it on a video so that you can have the best online learning experience you've ever had. So let's get started. I'm at the Foca homepage right now, milobathula.com slash foca.html. There's a link right here for you to install Foca. I've also included the link in the description for the video, so you can either copy paste that link or just click this right here. You go, you'll get to the Foca homepage uh, on the web store, Chrome web store. Just hit add to Chrome, add extension, bam, right there. And then bam, you'll notice that the Foca icon is up right there. The first thing Foca is going to do is take you to the Foca settings page. You can pretty much leave everything as is on the settings page. I've installed Foca before, so I don't see this, but if this is your first time, you're going to notice that you'll have a little box in this corner right here that will say, can Foca use the camera? We need your camera access to be able to do all the powerful uh, stuff that we do. Um, if for some reason Foca is not working at some point, the camera's not turning on, you can also click this icon right here and make sure that you continue allowing Chrome extension to access your camera. Done. Okay? So once your camera is enabled on the settings page, you can exit out and bam, Foca is installed on your computer right now. So just go over and get to your favorite uh, lecture video. I'll do MIT SICP. This is a classic MIT <coughs> excuse me, computer science video. This is not your cup of tea, of course. You can go to any video that you like. Um, but let me show you some of the features that Foca has. You'll notice that the Foca panel is right up here. You can drag this wherever you want. Um, this always shows you the current speed of the video right here. And then you can tune the speed right now, okay? So I can increase the speed to like say 1.5. You'll notice that's slow like or slow it down I'd like, to express like that. Okay, I can also use my toggle keys that I've set instead of clicking those buttons. Again, a very, this is a common feature. A lot of other Chrome extensions have this too. Let's get to the features that make Foca unique. Okay, so auto speed is our first feature. It automatically controls the video speed for you based on how attentive you are. This is why we need the camera so we can look at your face and figure out how much attentiveness, how much focus levels you're, you're at. So I'll enable auto speed. My camera just turned on. And now this is going to control the speed of my video based on how attentive I am. So yeah, so I'm super focused right now. Kind of, I guess. So it's giving me a high speed. A box um, if I look away or if I'm looking at my phone or something, just like I could make a box it's going to go down, like to okay? If I'm like falling asleep, bam, it goes down to 1.0, right? Um, right? Um, I can also fine tune these speeds. So if 2.0 is too fast, I'll go to 1.8. can reduce it to 1.8 or maybe 1.7. And then everything else gets adjusted accordingly too. If I'm looking away, if I'm falling asleep, right, it goes to 0.7. So that's auto speed. It's going to help you get maximum learning and minimum time. Uh, now let's go to Learn Track. Learn Track is a really cool feature that uses the same sort of uh, processing that auto speed uses. But what it does is instead of controlling the speed of your video, it's going to give you key points in the video that you should review uh, because we felt like you were confused, distracted, surprised, or whatever at that time. So it's a super cool feature. Once you finish up uh, your online lecture, you'll have the top 10 uh, key points to review, which you can just click on and just review them. So let's do Learn Track right now. So I'm going to click on Learn Track, and it's going to uh, show me the results. Right now, okay, so it says that I'm distracted because I'm talking to you guys right now, not looking at the video. So it's right. And, okay, I'm excited because I'm really excited about uh, Learn Track. Let's do this. The business Learn Track's not going to adjust the speed. So I'm just going to be watching the video right now. Knowledge, but how to do stuff... <coughs> and the real issues with computer science are, of course, not you know, like telling people how to do square roots. Okay, so let's say that was all it was, I find something really funny, deal. okay? okay. It's going to grab, bam, Stefan, you're excited, okay? Very, very large uh, let's go to somewhere where he's giving us, that, like, that some cool, his point of view, the cool diagram. Of wow, wow. I mean, like, that's so, so for instance, bam, surprise. Stefan, you were surprised at that moment. I want to really understand something, bam, confused. I gave it a face, like, y. and I'm kind of confused. Bam, it shows me that I'm confused. Okay, so it's going to give you the top 10 key points that you want to review all throughout your video. And then let's say you want to review something, okay? So you've hit the end of the video, and now you want to review something. You can just straight up go and click on the link for it, okay? So um, let's go to this place. Bam, it automatically goes okay, so there, and it's going to play science. that part for me. We're in the business so I can of formalizing maybe watch 10 to 15 seconds to, to recap that part of knowledge. the video. Uh, let me go to where I was surprised. Is from George's point of view, the internals of what's Very in here cool. should not be Okay, let me go to where I was confused. 
So for instance, it shouldn't matter Bam. that. Bam. Right, I can go directly back to those key points. One more thing, you can use auto speed and learn track at the same time, which is going to probably give you the best results. Um, simply because now you'll be able to get through videos faster with auto speed, and learn track will help you figure out what parts of the video you need to um, review, right? I'm going to disable learn track now, um, but of course I can use learn track and auto speed together at the same time. And it, 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 whenever you want your camera to stop, just make sure that you uncheck both, make sure both auto speed and learn track are unchecked, or just exit out of your tab. So that's Focus, guys. Go over to the Chrome store and download it today. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always click this button right here and hit feedback, which will take you directly to the feedback page that we have. Or if you click about, you'll go to the Focal homepage. We have the feedback form embedded right here, the link to install Focal, and we have a FAQ right here, which gives you some answers to frequently asked questions that you may have. Um, we never collect any of your data. All the image processing happens on your computer. Our algorithms are really powerful, and they're really awesome because they can do everything right on your computer. So there you go. There's FOCA for you. Uh, I hope this helps you guys have a more effective online learning experience so that you get maximum learning in minimum time. Let's change the way you learn, guys. Happy learning. Thank you.